Owens, congratulations on the win. Your first fight since 2019. Um, how did you feel in there? Uh, I felt as good as I uh, could today. Uh, it wasn't my best performance. Uh, had a few uh, ups and downs in there, but I worked through it and uh, got the win. So I'm happy about that. Get to the ups in a second. One of the downs, if you look at your left eye, uh, yeah. it's clearly got some issues. Um, when you got poked, can you just walk me through that and the discussion you had with the doctor? So when the first exchange actually happened, when, I, when the finger went in my eye, I noticed it, but I go through eye pokes all the time in training, so I didn't think it'd be a big deal. And I was like, before this, I always thought like, oh, how could an eye poke actually take five minutes? I couldn't see even for that for full five minutes. I, after I still could only see out of my right eye only. So I was just having to protect that eye and uh, continue fighting. How does it feel right now sitting, sitting up there? Can you see me at all? Uh, definitely blurry on my left eye. I can see you clearly on my right, but left is a little bit funny, but it's all good. It's part of the game. And you still were able to win the decision. You fought you know, most of the fight with, with uh, an eye issue. So is that any sense of added uh, encouragement for you going forward? Like, hey, even though I was dealing with this issue, look what I did. Uh, you know, my goal was to go in there and finish the fight. I didn't do that. So at the end of the day, I worked through this, uh, what is it? I worked through turmoil or, or adversity in the fight uh, through that eye poke, but I'm better than that. And I know I am. I just gotta be smarter in those situations. Use my uh, feint, use my offense a lot better. But over time, we'll see me get improved, so. And I know in the short term, the next thing for you is to potentially, depending on your eye, go uh, the corner Julius fight coming up here in a little bit. Um, after that though, I mean, what do you think's on the agenda for you? I'm assuming you wanna you have a quicker turnaround than the last one, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna recover, obviously, get back in there work on some stuff that I, I know I need to improve from just this experience right now. I'm already picking it apart, so that's what makes me great, and that's what's gonna make me great in the future, is I can pick myself apart right, right after, get over it, get better, and get back in there. So uh, I'm gonna get back in the gym, go back to my grind, get better as a martial artist, get better as a human being, and uh, get back in here. All right, one or two more, Jay. Hey, congrats on the uh, win, Lance. Um, I, I know you said before the fight, nerds are at age given you train alongside Julia. You know what she can do, you know what she, you, you can do, but now that her fight is coming up, how are the nerves for her going in there to be? Uh, there's no nerves. I know what she's capable of at the end of the day. She's got to go through it. She obviously said the same thing about me. I have to get out there and handle my own business. we got to separate from this on, on, on our parts and understand that each other has to do their job. So. I know she's got her job done and she'll go in there and do it, so. And I know you weren't happy with not getting the finish, but Big John suggested on the broadcast actually, a good adversity for you might have been a good thing. I mean, I know the fight just happened, but coming away from it, um, do you think you're going to be better off in the long run having all the distance? Uh, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> it's, just, it's adversity. Adversity may, either makes you better or worse. It's depending on how you, you pick at it and how you take it. I could sit there and cry about Big John saying that it's good for me to get this adversity or I could sit there and get better from it. And I understand that and I know that as a martial artist, so I'm going to improve from it and go forward from there. Sam? Hi, Lance. Congratulations on a great victory. You spoke a couple of weeks ago and you, you, you promised a technical fighter and you put aim and fire in your striking. And you certainly did that for the majority of the fight. So, Aside from not getting the finish, were there any differences in how the fight played out compared to how you may have imagined it or against the fight? <laughs> Things are a little bit different, obviously, when you were in shit pads and whatnot. Uh, I felt some of the kicks that I was throwing. Uh, in the first round, I also <laughs> felt like I broke my toe. They told me my, bro my toe's not broken, so I'm all good. But uh, banged up my foot a little bit, but it's all, it's all good. and It's all a part of the sport, so just got to get better from it and uh, aim and fire even more accurately and pick my shots when I see them go where they are. Because he was dip, ducking to the right a bit, and I needed to fake my left cross and then hit with the left hook, but I wasn't committing fully to that. So it's gonna make me better in the future. I don't know. Ross, let me get real last. You brought up before that you said that you wanna learn from this and grow from this. So I just wanna ask you this question for you. For you. While this is your first time going the distance, what did you learn about yourself through the whole fight? I can go with the flow and I can continue fighting. Obviously I train not just one round in a TKO in, tra in training. I train 
with bigger guys, 205 or sometimes, where I got to spar them for 10 minutes straight, uh, multi, like three rounds for 10 minutes straight, it's brutal. Uh, I go with a lot of bigger guys and have to fight through that. So being out there and going through that adversity, it's, it's all a part of the sport and it's gonna get me better. So yeah, I feel like I'm already improving right now as I speak to you guys. Last one, Santiago. Hi Lance, congratulations on an excellent performance and your five shorts are also amazing. You haven't <laughs> fought since October 2019. Is yeah. it easier to take some time off when you are younger so you can work on yourself? Or were you anxious to get in there again quick? Uh, there's a fine line between taking time off and improving and getting back in there. So I'm going to ride that fine line in between and uh, get back in there as soon as possible, get better, rest, recover, uh, actually improve over that time and get back in here. Got to go coach my team. So my teammate, Julia Budd, so I, I might have to get out of here soon. Huh? Enjoy the victory, sir. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Lance. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.